Okay, so update on the minute Moog. If we're measuring the negative unregulated supply, it should read minus 18. It's reading minus 5.7 now. So somebody suggested, actually several people suggested, we try measuring this with the power supply disconnected from the rest of the circuit to see if something further down the line is loading it down. Hey, that capacitor kind of looks like a Donald Trump right down there. Let me make sure yellow is here, and on this one, red is here. Got to keep track of what's going where. I mean, it should be pretty obvious. Everything's going to the right, but just in case. Okay, and now on D3, we're reading minus 25 volts. Okay, that's unloaded, so probably loaded. Actually, measure, measure on the white part of D2 now. Okay, so that's 25. That's not loading down the power supply. So when we load it, that probably gets down around to 18. Now measure D3 again. Negative, oh, okay. No so what that tells me is that there's something further down the line that's loading down the power supply. So something down the line is shorted or close to shorted. So the power supply is fine? We don't need to worry about that? No, we should still swap out those caps, but there's something else going on here. So this is gonna be complicated. Okay, now we're measuring looking into the synth. So we have the power supply over here disconnected and measuring looking going in this way the positive supply to ground is reading? Uh, 6.58 M ohms. 6.5 mega ohms. Mega okay. ohms. Okay, so now I'm looking at the negative 18 volt supply looking into the synth. But again, we have the power supply disconnected. I'm reading the resistance looking into the minus 18 volt pin to ground, and we're reading? Uh, 372.5 kilo ohms, precisely. There's, there's no variation. Well, that's the thing that's confusing me now, because if something in here was shorted and loading this down, would expect to read less than 300K on the voltage rail looking into the synth. I should mention that with the power off, I put the diode checker on the diodes and measured around 600 millivolts for a drop on all of them. And the capacitors, we're going to have to swap those out anyway. So we have 220 microfarad. And let's see, is there a volt mark on them? I think that's 25 volt. And we have some calipers here that we'll measure to get the right size. Oh boy, where to start?